Hello, students, parents, and families. I am Chris Corey, the Superintendent of Schools for the Fairfield Sassoon Unified School District. Thank you for watching our first ever virtual senior information night. The campus closures as a response to COVID-19 have been unprecedented. Each day, the news tends to change as we respond to this crisis. Our students, parents, employees, and community have all been impacted by the closing of the schools. The questions and anxiety have been a particular concern to our 2020 graduating seniors. Our goal tonight is to provide you with some information for these topics, which we have received because we have received many questions and we hope to answer the majority of your questions this evening. If not, we will also be providing you with a frequently asked questions FAQ document regarding the topic of our website um, on social media and on our website, um, and that will be early next week. I want to commend our staff for their rapid response to this situation. We have dis distance learning in place. We continue to provide meals for our students. Construction continues to move forward. We know we aren't perfect, but I can assure you that we are definitely doing the best that we can underneath these circumstances. I want to express particularly particular appreciation to our technology support services team who not only responded to the many technology needs to implement distance learning, but also made tonight's meeting possible. An additional shout out goes to Kristen Witt, our Director of Secondary Education, who worked with her team of secondary administrators and counselors to put together tonight's presentation. Following this presentation in English, we will have a Spanish version uh, thanks to Shirley Shavea, Sh Shavaria, sorry, um, who will be presenting for you, and that will begin at 6.30. With that, I want to thank you all for viewing, and I will now turn it over to Kristen Witt, Fairfield Sassoon Unified School District's Director of Secondary Education. Thank you, Superintendent Corey. <laughs> As she said, I am Kristen Witt, the Director of Secondary Education, and good evening parents and students and community. I am going to now bring up a presentation on the screen for everyone to see. So give me a moment to please bring that up. Over the next 45 minutes, I will be providing information and updates on the following topics. Graduation requirements, satisfying A to G requirements, advanced placement AP exams, international baccalaureate IB exams, college entrance, credit recovery, graduation ceremonies, senior events and activities. It is important to keep in mind that the information we are sharing is as current as this evening. If any information changes, we will provide updates on our website, our social media platforms, and through our high schools as they communicate with their students and families. If there is time this evening, we will answer a few of your questions that have been submitted. We will post written responses to all of the questions on our website on Monday, April 6th. We will be bringing a recommendation to the governing board on April 9th to temporarily suspend portions of board policy 6146.1 graduation requirements. The recommendation we will bring forward for Armio, Early College, Fairfield High, Public Safety Academy, and Rodriguez High School will be to temporarily reduce the elective requirements from 70 credits to 40 credits to reduce the English requirement from 40 credits to 30 credits, and to reduce the math requirement from 30 credits to 20 credits for this year's senior class. This recommendation, if approved, would temporarily reduce the overall required credits to graduate from 230 to 180 for this year's senior class. The chart seen here on slide four of this presentation 
shows a complete breakdown of the temporary recommended required courses and credits needed to meet graduation requirements for this year's senior class. Please keep in mind, this is still pending board approval. Many of our seniors have already met the majority of the required courses on this chart during their freshman, sophomore, and junior years. However, two courses that are only taken during the senior year are government and economics. Each senior would have been enrolled in either government or economics during the first semester. Each senior is currently enrolled in either government or economics. It is very important for each senior to maintain a passing grade in government and economics. If a student found themselves with a failing grade in first semester for either of these courses and hasn't begun credit recovery for that course yet, they should connect with their high school counselor as soon as possible to enroll in our online credit recovery. There are a few must do's for students during this time of distance learning. All seniors need to ensure that they are meeting their teacher requirements to pass the necessary courses to graduate. Students must still pass all required courses for graduation. When I say required courses for graduation, I am referring to the courses that were outlined in the chart that was just reviewed on slide four. It is very important for seniors to access credit recovery to make up any courses they did not pass that are required for graduation. If a student is unsure of their current graduation status, they need to contact their high school counselor. Each of the counselor names and contacts are on the last two slides of this presentation. Please note that this presentation will be posted on our website for you to access. At this time, I want to take a few moments to explain the difference between a comprehensive high school and a continuation high school. I need to explain the differences because we will be making a different recommendation to the governing board for Samieto. Samieto students earn credits every quarter as opposed to every semester at a comprehensive site. At Samieto, students are able to earn 60 credits in the same time frame that a student at a comprehensive site would only be able to earn 30 credits. Additionally, the course sequence for a student attending Samieto is unique to what the student needs as compared to a traditional sequence at a comprehensive site. This is all important to know because the impacts during this time of distance learning is compounded for a student attending Samieto. We need to take all of the factors into consideration as we make a recommendation to the governing board. We will be bringing a recommendation to the governing board on April 9th to temporarily suspend portions of board policy 6146.1 graduation requirements. The recommendation we will bring forward for San Mieto High School will be to temporarily reduce the graduation requirements to those specified in California Education Code. This recommendation, if approved, would temporarily reduce the overall required credits to graduate from 230 to 130 for this year's senior class at San Mieto. The chart seen here on slide eight of this presentation shows a complete breakdown of the temporary recommended required courses and credits needed to meet graduation requirements for this year's senior class at San Mieto. Please keep in mind, this is still pending board approval. Many of our seniors have already met the majority of the required courses on this chart during their time at San Mieto. However, two courses that are only taken during the senior year are government and economics. Each senior would have been enrolled in either economics or government during a quarter. It is very important for each senior to maintain a passing grade in government and economics. If a student found themselves with a failing grade in one of their quarters for either of these courses and hasn't begun credit recovery for that course, they should connect with their San Mieto counselor as soon as possible to enroll in our online credit recovery. There are a few must do's for each senior student during this time of distance learning. All senior students need to continue to stay current on work and ensure they are meeting their teacher requirements to pass the necessary courses to graduate. Students must still pass all required courses for graduation. 
Again, when I say required courses for graduation, I'm referring to the courses outlined in the chart that was just reviewed on slide eight. It is very important for seniors to access credit recovery to make up any courses they did not pass that are required for graduation. If a student is unsure of their current graduation status, they need to contact their Samieto counselor. Each of the counselor names and contacts are on the last slide of this presentation. Please note this presentation will be posted on our website for you to access. We will also be bringing a recommendation to the governing board on April 9th to temporarily suspend portions of board policy 6200 adult school. The recommendation we will bring forward for the Fairfield Sassoon adult school will be to temporarily reduce the requirements for graduation by 50 credits. This recommendation, if approved, would temporarily reduce the overall required credits to graduate from 180 credits to 130 credits for this year's students earning an adult school diploma. The chart seen here on slide 11 of this presentation shows a complete breakdown of the temporary recommended required courses and credits needed to meet graduation requirements for students working towards an adult school diploma. Satisfying UC CSU A to G requirements. The A to G college entrance requirements are a sequence of high school courses that students must complete with a grade of C or better to be minimally eligible for admission to the University of California UC and California University CSU. They represent the basic level of academic preparation that high school students should achieve to undertake university work. We want to assure students and families that during this time of distance learning, students will still be able to maintain their A to G eligibility status. We have made the decision in FSUSD to continue to issue letter grades for courses, post courses on the transcripts in a timely manner, and allow students to validate any course they earn less than a C in by retaking that course in Edgenuity, our online platform. Please note, we do not offer validation through Edgenuity for any lab science course. Any student unsure of his or her current A to G eligibility status should reach out to his or her high school counselor who can provide a real-time update. Advanced placement exams. We have many students enrolled in advanced placement courses and are planning to take the advanced exams. Please note that the information we are providing on the slide is information that has been provided to us by the College Board and AP Central. If any updates or changes occur, we will see on our web students and families. At this time, AP exams will still be offered. The AP exams will be offered for students to take remotely. Each exam will be 45 minutes. Additional test information is scheduled to be released tomorrow, April 3rd. Digital portfolio submission deadlines have been extended to May 26 at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. Students can cancel the exam at no charge to them. The exams will only test the units that were covered until early March. Instructional resources launched on March 25th. There is a link to those resources in this presentation. The online exam will be offered on two dates. The dates for exams have not yet been released. International Baccalaureate Exams. We have many students enrolled in our International Baccalaureate Program who were preparing for their IB exams. Please note that the information we are providing on the slide is information that has been provided to us by IB World Schools. If any updates or changes occur, we will post that information on our website for students and families. At this time, the May 2020 exams for diploma program and career related program will no longer be held. Students will still need to turn in all internal assessments and external assessments to their teachers. These will be uploaded to IB in lieu of the exams in order to calculate scores. Please be sure to follow teachers updated deadlines. Depending on what a student registered for, the student will be awarded a diploma or a course certificate which reflects their standard of work. This is based on students' coursework, 
and the established assessment expertise, rigor, and quality control already built into the programs. If you have any additional IB-related questions, please contact your RMEO counselor. College entrance information. Leaders of the California Department of Education, the State Board of Education, and each of the higher education segments who are part of the Governor's Council for Post-Secondary Education, the University of California, California State University, and community college systems, and the Association of Independent Colleges and Universities, have been meeting to discuss the impact of school closures on this year's high school students to make sure that students are held harmless from any impacts of school closures. Please note, information on this slide has been provided by the University of California and California State University. If any updates or changes occur, we will post that information on our website for students and families. The higher education community has offered assurances regarding the following, reevaluation of the financial needs, as well as the eligibility for federal and college financial aid for families whose circumstances have changed, flexibilities associated with the receipt of official transcripts and confirmation of admissions offers, including deferments of deposits or fees where needed, flexibility and support for students currently enrolled in dual enrollment course offerings. You can find additional information for California State University admissions at the Cal State Apply website. You can find additional information for University of California admissions at the UC admissions website. Credit recovery. We are encouraging all seniors to connect with their high school counselors to determine if they are in need of making up any credits required for graduation. If a student is in need of, of credit recovery, they can access credit recovery through our online platform, Edgenuity. In order for a student to earn the full five credits for a course on Edgenuity, students must complete 75% of the credit recovery course with a grade of 60% or higher to earn full credit. We have turned on what is referred to as free movement. This allows a student to move around in the course and complete all items needed prior to tests being unlocked. As soon as a student is ready to take a test, he or she needs to email their counselor and tests are being unlocked for students to take at home. After a course is completed, the course will be updated on the transcript, on the transcript as soon as possible. If a senior is unsure of his or her credit status, they should connect with their high school counselor as soon as possible. Graduation ceremonies. It is with a heavy heart that I do need to report that at this time we have canceled our graduation ceremonies. However, we are looking at alternative options that will allow for social distancing, but will still honor each student and their family. Some possible options we are exploring are live streaming of a virtual event or ceremonies being rescheduled to a date in July or August. We will update students and families as soon as decisions are made. We understand the value and importance of honoring our seniors for their hard work and determination over the last four years. We are working hard to ensure we can honor our students in some capacity this year. Senior events and activities. There are many senior events and activities that are typically planned for this part of the year. Please understand that any decision to cancel an event is out of the desire to keep everyone safe and healthy. Each high school is evaluating their planned senior events and activities. If possible, events are being rescheduled to later dates in June or July. If an event is canceled, refunds will be provided. Each high school will be messaging if and when an event or activity is canceled. Each high school will be processing any refunds that are needed. You will see on this slide the names and email addresses for the counselors at Armio, Fairfield, and Rodriguez High Schools. Please note the letters in parentheses next to each counselor's name. Those letters represent the part of the alphabet the counselors support. For example, if you look at Armio High School and see counselor Joanna Costa, 
She supports all students with the last names beginning with letters S through Z. Please look for your school and the counselor that supports your last name. That is the counselor you would reach out to for any questions that you have. You will see on this slide the names and email addresses for the counselors at Early College High School, Independent Study, Public Safety Academy, Samieto, the Adult School, and our District English Learner Counselor. We do have some time remaining where I would like to answer some of the questions that have come in on the Google Form link that was sent out. The first question, will there be an opportunity for students to take the ASVAB during the school year? This question further states, I know there was supposed to be another one in April. Our answer, as of this time, we have not been notified that the ASVAB has been canceled. We can provide additional information in our written response that will be posted on Monday. The next question that was submitted, can my student receive a refund for their cap and gown if there will not be a graduation? Our answer, all refund questions regarding caps and gowns will be answered by your school administration. Different vendors are used and the answers will vary by site. Next question. How will seniors receive their diploma? Our answer for you, all students meeting graduation requirements will be issued an official diploma. We are working on the process to issue diplomas to students and we will communicate that process and procedure once it is finalized. The next question that was submitted, will there be an AP or IB exam refund? Our answer, AP exam fees will be refunded if you choose to not participate in the exam. A link to additional information on AP exam refunds will be in our answers posted to the website on Monday. IB World has not yet issued information on refunds. Next question, will there be a grad night? Our answer, each high school will be messaging about cancellations of their site specific senior events. Next question, how can I update demographic information to make sure we are receiving all pertinent information from the school? Our answer, please contact your school site secretary and he or she can assist you with getting this updated. Next question, what if the student has fines that need to be paid or books that need to be returned? How can they fix that? Our answer, we are working on updating our procedures for end of year textbook return, Chromebook return, and collection of fees and fines. Additional information will be provided in the weeks to come. Question, does the time kids work online while out of school because of COVID-19 count towards the school year? Our answer, yes, the physical buildings are closed, but school is still in session. Question, how can we renew a work permit at this time? Our answer, Please contact your school site administrator that will review the process for work permit renewal and application. Question, for classes requiring a lab such as chemistry, how will this A to G requirement be met through online courses? Answer, we will provide a robust answer to this in our written response on Monday posted to our website. Question, where can my student get assistance with scholarship writing? Answer, each of our high schools have college and career texts that are designated supports for this process. Please connect with your school site's college and career technician who can assist you with this. Question, my child is a TA. How will she finish her credits for the period? Answer, we are working to ensure that students earn full credits for all of the courses they are enrolled in. Additional information will be provided in depth to this question on our answers posted on Monday. Question, what if we were depending on a spring sport for PE credits to graduate? Answer, for Individuals that had submitted a PE interscholastic athletic waiver, those waivers will be honored. All spring sports had begun, therefore students are eligible for this waiver to still be honored. 
Additional, more robust answer to this question will be posted on Monday on our website. And at this time, that concludes the questions that had been provided. If additional questions come in, we will provide those additionally in our written responses that will be posted on our website on Monday, April 6. I want to thank all of you for your understanding during this difficult time. We want to make sure that we do everything that is necessary to help support our senior students to earn their high school diploma, maintain their status for admittance to a UC, CSU, community college, or military branch, and provide reassurances that we are here to support you in all that you need during this time. Thank you for your time, and we will provide any new updates on our district website as we receive them. This presentation.